Hello there, everyone. Uh, so, we'll just continue our playthrough of Freeze Easy Peak. I'm still not quite sure what went on with that jiggy. I uh, rescued those twinkly guys, and then there was a counter for a, uh, what I presume is my reward. And now I can't seem to find it. Um, there was that jiggy at the top of the tree, obviously, which, you know, makes sense. But then, other than that, I mean, that, that jiggy's encased in ice, and I can't break that ice. Which to me screams, this is a separate jiggy that you get some other way. Yeah, there we go. Be a star up on my own, hurry. Mm, well, the only way I can get up there, I can't, probably can't get into the tree, so... Maybe there's like a flight platform around here. Haha! -ha! Yes, my suspicions were correct. The way we go. Now this is where those horrible flying controls might betray me. In in the star? Yes. Oh god, I have to do it multiple times. Come on, you got this. All your skills the gamer is on the line. Ah, okay, there we go. So that was the jig I needed to get. But in order to get it, I need to fly through this star to unlock it inside the tree, of course. Alright, now we just uh, majestically glide to the ground, and we will go and claim our first jiggy for Freezy Easy Peak. Alright. To the top we go. The good news about the um, the whole resetting every time you leave a level thing is that it's, that's the only time things reset, in general. So in general, if I come in a place like this, slaughter all the termites and leave, it's not like just because I left this one particular area, the termites come back. Which would be kind of frustrating if you say you got knocked out or something, or you went the wrong way. So that's pretty cool. As long as you stay in a level, you can do sort of one fairly consistent playthrough. The only thing we have to examine here is, um, do we all remember when I was, um, sort of most of the way through Treasure Trove Cove, and I mentioned that any level where you're given free flight is going to end up focusing mostly on free flight? I have a feeling the same applies here. The, the fact that they've put a flight pad in is just basically free license to put jiggies in just stupid, ridiculous places, because they can be all over the shop. Anyway, forget that. Let's talk to bottles. Big bomb attack. Oh, cool. So it's like a kamikaze dive bomb attack. I like it. Although again, you'll notice, Kazooie. Kazooie gets the move. Where is the banjo love? Now, I saw the snowman before, and yeah, tell me they don't look like targets, honestly. And those snowmen, yeah, they they are almost exactly World War Two anti-air guns. I know. I think they actually use snowmen as anti-air guns in World War Two. I seem to remember that being part of the history. Okay, let's give this a shot. How many buttons are there? Three. Three is three is a fair number. Jiggy? Yes, Jiggy. It's just that easy, folks. You just find large, obvious things, and you run with it. Okay. And I also recall, just in case, I, I did it really quickly at the end there, I did pick up a present for, um, I presume, the children, because they were talking about their dad not bringing them their presents. Also, I'm going to note, the combination of snowmen who constantly throw snow, uh, snowballs at you, sorry, um, water that is so cold that if you touch it, it hurts you, and the fact that this whole level is just that little bit slippery. It's not annoying me right now, but I can see this turning into platformer hell really, really quickly. That's okay. If it does, we'll work through it. It's, it's just going to be one of those things. As I said, I'm not the sort of person who would bitch out of a level just because I'm finding it difficult. 
um, this is as much your let's play as it is mine. You know, um, that's that's how I feel about it. That's why I encourage you guys to leave me comments, even if they are abusive. Try to make them abusive. Let's see, we've got some more notes here. Again, trying to collect notes as we go so we don't have to get them later. Trying to get notes as we go now so that we don't have some sort of massive playthrough later as well. There is another... Oh, Ginger. Excellent. There is another flight thing here. Oh, that flight thing apparently and a Mongo token. Now let's see if there's anything right at the very top of the snowman. That's normally pretty sus. If you have a level with a giant like centerpiece, the very tippy top of that centerpiece is usually a pretty good place to look for um GPs. Oh, completely lost now. No, no jiggies. Wow, okay. There's uh there's notes. There's an ice cube. But no jiggies. That is very surprising to me. Um Yeah, uh, that's been a pretty consistent feature so far, but I suppose you've got to break the mold at some point. Oh, okay, apparently that fall was big enough to warrant me getting fall damage. Whatever game, you're the boss. See what else we have going on around here. Switch to kazoo mode. Fly enough, Kazooie doesn't seem to suffer the sliding thing. Yet another reason to use this um this running form. Ooh, another present. Presents are always good. Now that's still obviously helping get up there. Oh wow. If I saw what I think I just saw. Okay guys. Um Shit's about to get real, essentially, as well going with this. Just collect these with these notes here. Oh, I have to leave them back down. Okay, forget that. Forget that. That all that is going to be made very shortly irrelevant. That, ladies and gentlemen, is a toboggan. That is the world's biggest snowman tire skate ramp. Let's do this. Whoa! Mumbo token. Ha oh. ha! Oh, take that, Boggy. That is the... Honestly, that is the best, best indigestion remedy I have ever seen. I'm claim that Jiggy with pride. Also, I heard something about a race. Again, this is following this game's awesome habit of doing this thing where even if you look at a level at face value, that's not half the level. As I do things within the level, the level itself will evolve to offer new possibilities. Present, future... Present for you, child. Present for you, child. And I think that's all the presents I found. Oh, no, no, I've all got presents. Sweet. Easy, Jiggy. That is a very nice, easy, Jiggy. Four for the level already? Wow, okay, we're tanking this level as well. Awesome. Obviously, um, you know, you get the easy Jiggies first, though, so it will slow down eventually. Now, all we have to do is try and find, um, you all remember when I was, you know, running down that, um, the snowman's tie, and I said I'll do this, and then I said, no, forget that, we'll go down the toboggan. Now I have to find the way back up again, because, uh, there were quite a lot of musical notes on there that I would rather like. Okay, those snowmen, they're getting pretty annoying. Pretty annoying at this stage. There's Mumbo's house, we'll have to go see him at some point, that's always a necessity. Okay. This looks to be getting pretty much it. Yeah, here we go, there's a beehive there. And here we go, this is the tie. So we'll just uh, head up the tie now and sort of explore any, any untapped things we might have. You'll notice there's red feathers on the red parts and yellow notes on the yellow sections of the tie. Just little game design things like that I think are really cute. Um, you know, there's no real need for it, but oh hell, why not? Makes the game that much more interesting, doesn't it? Wow, we're up to 73 notes already, guys. We're doing well on the notes as well, which is really good to see for everyone. Um, what is that, a brush? Yeah, it has a ginger on it too. So I'll grab him. 
So we know where three of the five genders are. So that's good. I'm gonna I'm gonna be very interested in what's going on with this pipe. Oh, and so I should be, because there is a jiggy there. Okay, so there you go, that, um, there's a jiggy there, we'll call that evensies for, um, there not being a jiggy at the top of the hat, hey? That sounds fair to me. There is also, uh, that snowman's quite creepy now that I look at him. Excellent, they're good at this, aren't they? they these guys, rare, no joke, amazingly good at creepy design choices. Why? Why are they so excellent at it? That half of them aren't even intentional. Like, okay, I'm gonna go out on a limb and say Clanker is probably intentionally a little bit scary. Um, but no, like this snowman, there's no way he's meant to be scary. And he's just a little bit. Oh, what are you gonna do? Also, I just saw a giant seal carrying a jiggy. I'm gonna have to make him my bitch, aren't I? Wazza. Come here, Wazza. Nasty fierce bear. Come oh, yeah. here. Okay. Can't talk to Wasa. That'll be a story for another day, I guess. Hmm. Race track, hey. Also, I just got an extra live. Not that they really mean much nowadays. Um, incidentally, I have decided that I will. F I will show you guys a game over. I, I promise you that. You need to see it. it Trust me, when you're six and cannot legally buy like Playboy, Game Over Grunty is all you've got. And even now, like Game Over Grunty, <sighs> nothing wrong with Game Over Grunty, boys. Nothing wrong with Game Over Grunty. Anyway, but um, yeah, sorry. There, <laughs> before I sort of just got lost in my thoughts there, there was actually a point to that statement. Um, when I do the Game Over video for you. What I'll do is I'll record it in Fraps, not Camp Studio, so that instead of my dulcet tones, you instead have audio of the actual game, just because, again, that is actually worth it. Okay, so that's the starting line for our race, but before we do that, I am interested in going to see Mumbo. Um, this kid has not failed me yet with being entertaining with his transformations. Also, it'll give us a good idea of how many Mumbo tokens we need in case it's lots. It could be. Fifteen. I don't know, we've still got enough. That's always positive. And there are both musical notes and a ginger here, which is awesome to source. Actually, fifteen more notes to go on this level, guys, which is really good. That is good progress. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll transform. Let's see what he's got for me in this level. Polar bear, maybe? No, a polar bear would be too different. <gasps> I am a little walrus. Amazing. Amazing. Um, slightly faster than the termite and or crocodile, but back to not being able to attack. <sighs> That's good though. The only enemies we really found so far are those stupid ice cube things which are really easy to dodge, and the snowmen which are, they're basically anti-air cannons. You just, as long as you don't stop moving for extended periods of time, I should be alright with them. Plus I can go in the cold water, which is pretty cool, because I can get all these notes here. Oh, that one was close. Apparently at close range these things are slightly more deadly. They actually lead their shots a little bit too, which is pretty hacked. Again, as long as you don't stop moving, you're normally fine. Oh, exactly four notes to go, that's pretty cool. Um, yeah. And speaking of four and to go, don't really know where I was going with that. About 40 seconds left in the video, so we're probably going to have to wrap it up at some point. Um, didn't think I'd ever start doing this, but I'm going to. Deal with it. Uh, if you do like, if you are liking the video so far, by all means subscribe. Um, I'm not going to beg you all to subscribe, like it's not really that important to me, but I mean it keeps me knowing how many people want to see the videos, so I know how fast I have to make them. And also lets me know, you know, if you guys really like this series, there's no reason I wouldn't do other playthroughs. So basically, the more of you guys who say yes, I enjoy your stuff, make more, the better. Anyway, I'm going to head off. I will see you in the next playthrough, which will continue on from this one. Goodbye.